Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Bajo's exam prep. My name is Naveen, and today we are going to start with our MHCET 2023 preparation, uh, logical reasoning part. So today we are going to look into one of the very important topics that come in uh, MHCET, which is blood relations. So you should definitely expect at least two or three questions from blood relations. Okay. So we'll be solving questions and along with that, if whenever and wherever required, we'll be doing the concepts behind that. So this is our first question. It says pointing towards a photo, Akshay said, Papu is the husband of this woman and brother of my son's son. How is Akshay related to Papu? So there are certain symbols that we use to denote specific gender or the relationship, right? Uh, Everyone has got their own approach of, uh, you know, denoting a particular symbol or denoting a relationship. So what I do is for male, I take a rectangular or a square block. For female, I take elliptical or circular. Uh, for siblings, I simply draw a horizontal line between them. And for couples, I draw a horizontal line and put a cross over there. Yeah, hi Kedar. Okay, so just four to five symbols I use and that takes care of the gender as well as the relationship between people. So if I have to solve this, uh, what I will do is point it towards a photo. So we don't know who that person is right now. Akshay, we don't know the gender of Akshay, right? Papu is the husband of this woman, right? This woman means this photo is that of a woman. So this is the photo that we are talking about and since it's female, so I've taken an ellipse for her and it says Papu is the husband of this woman. So that means this is who Papu is, right? And the brother, so Papu is the brother of my son's son. So Papu's, uh, Okay, if we're talking about Akshay, so Akshay has a son and that son has a son and that son has a brother who is Papu, right? So how is Akshay? So we don't know the gender of Akshay. So question is how is Akshay related to Papu? So as in Papu is going to call Akshay by which relationship? Now, the thing is, the names do not signify any gender. Right now, the correct answer should have been grandparent. But we do not see any option which says grandparent, right? So the closest option that we have is grandfather. That's what we are going to mark. So the answer is not correct, but it's the closest to the correct answer we should have. Yeah, hi, Ansari. Hi, Rutuja. Hi, Yash. Hi, Pratyush. Hi, Manoj. Right? So B is the closest answer. Akshay ka gender nahi pata hai. Thik hai? Ye dham rakna. Second, A's mother is B's sister and C's daughter. D is B's daughter and E's sister. How is C related to E? Let's see how many of you can solve it quick. Everyone, please make sure that you've given a like. Solve karte karte, bas a click kar dena like. That's all we need. We don't know the gender of A, right? So we have A's mother is B's sister and C's daughter and so on. So we would really need uh, space for this. So I'm going to reduce the font size for this. So we have A, A's mother is B's sister. So this is B and B's sister. So A's mother and B's sister are the same people. And C's daughter, she is C's daughter. So C's daughter. That means C has two children, B and A's mother. Right. Next, it is given that D is B's daughter. So B is going to have a daughter. 
who is D. So we don't, we, we know the gender of D, but we don't know the gender of B. So D is B's daughter and E's sister. So E has a sister, we don't know the gender of E, right? Now the question is, how is C related to E? As in E is going to call C by which relationship? E C ko kya keh kar bulaega ya bulaege? Now the thing is, we don't know the gender of C. So we are pretty sure it's mother's or father's mother or father, right? So it's, it's grandparent. So it's going to be either grandfather or grandmother, which is going to be grandparent because C ka gender nahi pata. Right? Good. Option A. Okay. Let's uh, try the next one. In a family, there are three men with their sons, six men and their fathers, and four men with their grandfathers. How many men are there in the family if no father has less than two sons? Less than, not less than, uh, no father has less than two sons means uh, it's two or more than that. Theak hai? Kisi ko bhi ek beta ya zero beta nahi hai. Okay, uh, what are the expected dates for uh, the exam, Kedar? It's going to be around third week of March, at least that much, not before that. And Shubham says, often student, uh, Shubham, um, orphan student will come under which category? Hmm. Okay, tab tak aap log solve karo. Shubham, uh, you will need a score of around, I believe, uh, open category ka around 140 jata hai na. So, 140 ka half se thoda zada. So, expect somewhere around 75 to 80 for that category. You need that, at least that, that those many marks. 75 to 80 as first. Okay, answer, answer the questions. Abhi, ye wale, blood relations. I'll answer your queries uh, in, in between. Okay. So in a family, there are three men with their sons, six men with their fathers, and four men with their grandfathers. How many men are there in the family if no father has less than two sons? So right now we have three men with their sons. Right. So if I want to minimize this, I will say that there are three men. So this man has got two sons. We need at least two sons, right? And they have two sons of their own. Because kam se kam do to chahiye, bhai. So can we say we have three men who have sons? Six men who have fathers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six men have fathers. And four men have a grandfather right if i draw this binary structure jo normally mlm ka um, you know jo multi level marketing ka jo hota hai binary wala waisa hi kuch hai one man has two sons and each son has got two further sons so how many uh, men are there in the family seven 
D. A. Why do we need 11 people? And if you are going to draw the 11 people ka category, so dekho, aisa kuch banaya hoga apne. Maybe, I don't know, I can't see what you guys may have, um, you know, answer uh, as in drawn. So I'm saying this is one. And suppose they will have three. And if each one has two, do rakte. Okay. So if each one has two sons, doubtful this is going to be 11. If you are saying 11, that means this person cannot have one more. Uh, it means uh, he has one more father. It's a oral generation. Aisa kuch draw kar hai. Suppose if you have drawn something like this, there are three men with their sons. This man has a son. This man has a son. These three have a son. Do we have three people who have sons? Paanch log ho jayenge jinke bete hote hai. See, if someone is at the middle tier, second generation, that, that person is a son as well as a father, right? So, do bar count hoga na wo person. Son ke case mein bhi count karenge and father ke case mein bhi count karenge. So, ye to sense nahi banega. And anyways, this man has got only one son and it is given that he, everybody needs to have at least two. So, ye to sense nahi banta hai. So, I don't know how did you guys get D option which is 11, but it's going to be 7. Option A. Okay, let's try the next one. Pointing to a photograph, a man tells his friend she is the only daughter of my wife's father. How is the lady in the photograph related to the man? It's a relatively easy question, right? Only daughter of wife's father. Suppose you are married, you are a man, you, ha you have a wife. Of course, you are married, you have a wife. And that person is your father, her father's only daughter. So, if, uh, if you are talking about a girl who is, whose father has only a daughter, that means we are talking about the wife herself, right? So, only daughter of my wife's father, matlab wife ke hi baare mein baat kar rahe. Right? So, the photograph that we are talking about is the wife of this man. So, man looks at this photograph and says that this is the only daughter of my wife's father. So, how is the lady in the photograph related to the man? As in man will call this person as by which relationship? Wife? Bravo option. And I believe everyone must have answered bravo. Nay, sabne bravo nahi kara. Kuch logo ne sister-in-law bhi kara. Yaar, only daughter hai. So, kaise ho sakta hai? Think about it. Your sister is the only daughter of your father. So, how many sisters will you have? Two, no? Uh, sorry, you will have, you will, I mean, you are two children. You will have only one sister because it says only daughter. Right? So, the answer will be wife. Okay. Another type of question. So, we have, instead of photographs or pointing towards a man, it's about X, Y, Z. Uh, letters are used. So, how is X related to Y if it is known that X's father's wife's father is Y's brother? Okay. Right, Ritesh. B because only daughter is mentioned. X's father, X's father, ka wife. So, father's wife kaun hai? Mother hi to hai. Right? So, father's wife, wife's father, so wife's father, excess father's wife's father is wise brother, is wise brother, right? So, aisa kuch hai. So, how is X related to Y? Do we know the gender of Y? Of course, no. Since we don't know the gender of Y, which option do you think will make sense? And anyways, we can see that this is a, you know, relation between the first generation and the third generation. So, grand word to lagna chahiye. 
है ना एक्सेस फादर्स वाइफ्स फादर इज वाइज ब्रदर सो हाउ इज एक्स रिलेटेड टू वाई इट्स गोट टू बी ग्रैंड फादर और ग्रैंड मदर इज इन डेट अच्छा यहां पर ना एक टाइपो हो गया आई बिलीव दिस शुड हैव बीन ऑप्शन ई नॉट डी बिकॉज so option e cannot be determined ha avantika we are going to take this sessions abhi mhct shuru hua hai and we are also having sessions on tisnet right in both the uh, series we will be doing uh, reasoning based okay the next one is a set based 6 7 8 9 there are four questions so we have b n k s j p d so we have a total of seven members in the family uh from rwanda there are three couples in the family j is the father in law of n who is a male p is the sister of k is father b is the grandmother of k who is female but is not married d is male is not the husband of this so what is the number of females in the family so what we need to do right now is uh, i'm leaving this uh, slide okay you please draw it and we'll be solving the questions uh, one after another theek okay? hai remember there are three couples in the family and there are seven members so n is a male and j is father in law father in law that means n has to be married and that his wife is going to have a father and of course a mother and this father is j right right now we can see two couples p is the sister of k's father we have no idea where to put p and k right uh b is the grandmother of k who is female right k is female but is not married so b is the grandmother of k who is female and d who is a male is not the husband of p p is the sister of k's father b is the grandmother of k k is female but is not married so b is the grandmother of maybe they are i mean k is the daughter of n and this so d is not the husband of p that tells us that p is a girl and d is not the husband of p okay and p is the sister of k's father so p is the sister of k's father so p is the sister of k's father and she is married and she is married and when she is married this is what will have so we have these three couples that means six people uh we have uh, j and b as grandparents they have a they have a child she is married to n and uh, then n has a sister and that sister is married okay it says d is not the husband of p 
and D is a is is a male person, right? And P is the sister of K's father. J is the father-in-law of N, who is a male. The only way this will make sense is that if we have P here and P is the sister of K's father, so that means K is here and K has a father, right? Only this one will make sense. Dekh let ek bar. P is the sister of K's father, B is the granddaughter, grandmother of K who is female but is not married. D, who is a male, is not the husband of P. That means D has to be this. And uh, there is only one letter left, which is S. Such that there are three couples in the family. J is the father-in-law of N, yes. And uh, N is male. P is the sister of K's father. Since uh, we can't have N's sister here as P, because then D will have no place to go. So, we will have to make P as the wife of N such that P is the sister of D and D is the father of K. Taki ye statement ka sense bane. P is the sister of K's father. So, P is more like maternal unto K. Right? Also, B is the grandmother. So, we know that third generation and is super wo grandmother that has to be female who is B. And uh, of K, K is female and is not married. And we know that D, who is a male, is not husband of P. Then obviously D has to be husband of the last letter, the seventh letter, which is S, or the seventh person. Right? So we know the gender, we know the relationships, all good. Uh, B and J, they have got two children, D and P. Okay. What is the number of females in the family? We have three couples. Each couple has a female, of course. And then we have a, uh, an unmarried female, K. So there are going to be a total of four females. Charlie option. Okay. Who is the mother of K? Mother of K is going to be S. And uh, which pair among the following is neither a couple nor a pair of siblings? So, S and D, are they couple? Yes. Next, N and P, are they couple? Yes. P and D, are they siblings? Yes. B and J, are they couple? Yes. So, all of them are either a couple or a, a pair of siblings. So, none of the above. Right? And who is the daughter-in-law of B? Daughter-in-law is going to be S, right? B ki daughter-in-law is S and son-in-law is N. So, the daughter-in-law is going to be C option S. Right? Shubham, is me kya repeat karna hai? Shubham, it is given that there are three couples in the family. So, Three couples matlab, ek couple to top mein ho gai. Ye pata na? This is the rule. In a family tree, there has to be one couple. No brothers and sisters. Not sure about that. But a couple chahi udar. Now, if you read, you will realize that there is a grandmother. So, this person is the grandmother, right? So, B is the grandmother of K. That means this couple will have a child, at least one child. And they will have, to mein na thoda safe khelne ke liye, I am going to say that they are married and these married couple, they have a child who is K, who is female. Okay? I don't know whether their child is a male or female right now. So, we are done with this statement. Okay? Okay. Now, since we are talking about K, it says P is the sister of K's father. So, K has a father and P is the sister of K's father. I hope this makes sense right now. That means uh, the first generation B and one more person they have two children. 
us a daughter and a son daughter's name is p son's name i don't know yet and they have a grand uh, a, a granddaughter who is k next it says j is the father in law of n so j has to be a father in law so this is j and n is a male so i can't put n here no ye married mein do mardon ke beech shaadi nahi ho sakti not allowed in the questions in exams theek hai legally bhale hi allowed hoga exam mein nahi karte so uh j is a sorry n is a male so the only place we can put n says that n is a male and son in law of j is sa next we know that d is not the husband of p d is a male to d agar male hai to yahi ek bacha hai and there is only one person left who is s so it's not necessary that the sequence of the sentences is what you need to follow sometimes you will have to follow the first statement and then you will have to move to the last one how do you realize it you will have to go through all the statements at once and then see how they are connected aise jo likha hua hai ki ye ek pehla statement hai dusra third and fourth hai usi sequence mein jana kyun hai ye kaun sa rule hai ki first ke baad second aata hai reasoning mein to kabhi nahi aata na di mein ha counting and maths mein aata hai theek hai okay next one study the information given below carefully and answer the questions that follow the symbol codes given denote the relation of one family with member with the other so asterisk means mother plus means brother equal to means wife and uh, cap okay cap means son so how is m related to s if m asterisk w asterisk would mean mother so that means m is the mother of w then we have w is equal to h is equal to means w is the wife of h h ka gender automatically pata chal gaya h plus s means h is the brother of s we don't know the gender of s and then we have s cap d s cap d means s is the son of d that means these two are kids of d we don't know the gender of d so question is how is m related to s as in s is going to call m by which relationship so this is more like s ki sister in law right s s brother is h h has a wife w and m is mother of w so sister in law ki mom so what are we going to call her ये इन लॉज हो गए ना इधर से दिस पोर्शन इज इन लॉ फॉर एस एंड एच एंड डी सबके लिए इन लॉज हो गए सी लॉफुली हु इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर फैमिली लीगल वे में जो आपके फैमिली का पार्ट है उसको इन लॉज बोलते हैं आई डोंट नो इफ यू गाइज नो दिस बट दैट्स एग्जैक्टली हाउ इट इज वेन यू आर मैरिड टू सम वन यू आर लीगली दार्ट ऑफ द फैमिली इमोशन इमोशन सब बेकार है मतलब वो, वो सब चीज नहीं होता ओके सो व्हेन टू पीपल मीट एंड दे गेट मैरिड इनके साइड सारे इन लॉज होंगे फ्रॉम दिस पर्सन पर्सपेक्टिव एंड सिमिलरली फ्रॉम दिस पर्सन पर्सपेक्टिव एवरीबडी ऑन दिस साइड इज गोइंग टू बी इन लॉज इफ दिस पर्सन कॉल्स मॉम देन दिस पर्सन इज गोइंग टू कॉल मदर इन लॉ इफ दिस पर्सन कॉल्स समवन इज सिस्टर देन दिस पर्सन इज गोइंग टू कॉल द सेम पर्सन सिस्टर इन लॉ वो सिस्टर तो है पर लॉफुली है ठीक है इट्स नॉट कि वी आर सिबलिंग्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बी कॉल्डिंग सिस्टर्स और आवर पेरेंट्स वेर सिबलिंग्स कजन वो नहीं है वो इन लॉज वाले हैं सो सिंस एम इज गोइंग टू कॉल डब्ल्यू हर मदर सॉरी डब्ल्यू इज गोइंग टू कॉल एम हर मदर दैट मीन्स एस इज गोइंग टू कॉल एम ऑल्सो अ मदर बट सिंस इट्स एन इन लॉज वाला सेक्शन सो शी इज गोइंग टू आई मीन एस इज गोइंग टू कॉल एम मदर इन लॉ I hope it is clear in laws का logic नहीं है तो अभी wait कर लो पांच सात साल शादी होगी सब समझ आ जाएगा Okay another one do we have the same yes now the question is how is D related to W how is D related to W means W is going to call D by which relationship 
right now we don't know the gender of d you know so w is going to call d as what so h or s they are going to call d as parent grand uh, sorry father or mother so w is going to call d as father in law or mother in law kyunki in law lawfully right so it's going to be father in law or mother in law we don't have a father in law or mother in law so w is going to call d tha na so w is going to call d by none of the above right okay again set best 12 13 14 15 four question best set please go ahead try to solve this in the meantime i will change the font to a smaller one okay so there are nine members in family of three generations with three married couples since it is talking about three generations so we are supposed to have the first generation on the top so that's one couple and then we are supposed to have at least one more couple kyunki third generation tabhi aayega and they are going to have kids so i don't know whether they have a son or a daughter so that's why i have not denoted any gender over there q is the son in law of l so that means they the first couple they definitely have a daughter so that q becomes the son in law of l so we don't know who l is here right R is the nephew of N. No idea. So far, we have only done this part. K is the mother of N and does not have any siblings. M has only one son. U is the aunt of N. P is the grand daughter of M. Right? O is the mother of P. N is unmarried. N is the sister of L. So we have to find the connectivity. Right? We are pretty sure that L stays at this place. and we also have p is the granddaughter of m so m and l dono idhar honge who is m who is l right now we don't know right and p is the granddaughter of m that means uh, p could be a, a daughter of q or maybe a daughter of uh, another kid of m and l right okay since it says uh, o is the mother of p right and uh, do we have r is the nephew of n and k is the mother of n since k is the mother of n and uh, k does not have any siblings is this part missing that k is the mother of n and n does not have any siblings and since we are talking about r is the nephew of n right so r is the nephew of n and k is the mother of n to three generations mein to k hi aa jayega 
and it says n is unmarried hmm n is the sister of l doesn't look the family tree that i have written i'm assuming that everything given is correct to its core there is no mistake here okay ye mai assume kar raha see it says r is the nephew of n that means n is at a generation and r is a generation below then it says k is the mother of n so that means we have an n and then we have a generation above her so out of these we know that r is below n and n k above me we have a k so three generations to idhar hi hain right and since we know k is the mother of n so what we can do is the first generation me i'm going to put k is the mother of n as in they have kids out of which n is a kid right and uh, n is the kid and since n has a nephew that means they are supposed to have एक भाई या बहन राइट एंड एन इज अनमेरिड एंड एन इज द सिस्टर ऑफ एल सो दैट मीन्स एन इज द सिस्टर ऑफ एल सो आई डोंट नो द जेंडर ऑफ एल एज ऑफ नाउ राइट एंड देन इट सेज क्यू इज द सन इन लॉ ऑफ एल दैट मीन्स एल इज मैरिड एंड दे हैव अ किड and then q is the son in law so they have a kid and then q is the son in law of l so ye as a pattern hai so we have uh, three married couples k and her husband l and his or her spouse and q and his or her spouse so q is the son in law of l ye sense banta hai um k is the mother of n and does not have any sibling so k doesn't have a sibling next it says u is the aunt of n so k doesn't have sibling so the aunt of n is going to be u so u is female over here to ye sense banta hai next it says p is the granddaughter of m now the granddaughter is only possible we have 3 3 6 7 8 8 okay uh p is the grand granddaughter of m i can't place m anywhere right m idhar rakh denge to granddaughter iske niche aa sakta very much possible okay suppose if i write m here and inka kid as p next line says o is the mother of p so o goes there n is the sister of l that will also make sense there is any letter missing we have 5 6 7 8 9 no log to ho gaye how many uh, married people do we have we have three married couples six people ek kaam karte hain let's write down the letters we have got q l r n k m U P O three three six. We have all the letters there. So Q is done, L is done, R is missing. So R is the nephew of N. R is the nephew of N. We don't have R as the nephew of N, right? Because here, here, all are filled. 
that tells us that this statement that p is the granddaughter of m we can't have a p here so m is going to be here right and uh, p is the granddaughter of m ye banta p is the granddaughter of m o is the mother of p so o is the mother of p that means l is the father and since p is female q has to be male right and then it says uh, since we are talking about three generations to iske niche anyways nahi ja sakte the right first second and third generation next we have is l um, kidhar gaya nephew nephew wala r is nephew of n so that means nephew means male right so that means r is a male person and that's what we have ठीक है तो P एंड Q को ऐसे डिनोट कर देते हैं सो so, R हैज सिस्टर P एंड P इज मैरिड टू Q राइट right? L एंड O दे हैव गॉट टू किड्स P एंड R K एंड M दे हैव गॉट टू किड्स N एंड L N इज द सिस्टर ऑफ L राइट 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 ठीक है so wasn't easy because uh, you know you is should not be a part of the family because a family always starts with a couple par yahan pe ek i mean how come m's sister be a part of k's family hai na wo hota nahi hai generally but theek hai first question is how is o related to n as in n is going to call o by which relationship n is going to call o by sister in law right delta option who among the following is a couple m and u no r and q da no k and r no p and q yes find the correct statement among the following k is the mother of o uh, k is the mother no k is actually mother in law of o next is n is the sister of q n is the sister of q no n is actually aunt of q p and r are not siblings p and r are actually siblings u is the sister in law of k u is in the sister role of the sister in law of k definitely right m is the person who is the husband of k and also brother of u so yes statement is this statement is correct right d and how many female members are there in the family so we have got k and u then we have got n and o and then we have another one p so 5 out of 9 members in the family they are female and the remaining 4 are male right okay and i believe this is among the last questions 16 17 18 we have three questions related to this try how many blood relations in cat kartik it depends sometimes you have got two or three questions sometimes you have got more than four but expect at least two or three questions so there are only two married couples in a family of seven members so a couple dusra couple definitely and then that couple will have kids and then will have siblings of this second generation so that we have two couples that will consist of four members aisa hi kuch hoga standard family tree the seven members are a to g each couple has only one child that is weird if each couple has only one child and we have got two married couples seven members तो ये कैसे चलेगा एंड देर इज नो विडो और विडोवर इन दैमिली दैट इज ऑल्सो मैं नो बड़ी डाइड लेट सी सो 
<laughs> this is a little difficult because the first couple if they're going to have a child they are going to be married and they can't have siblings because the first couple should have a child and the next couple is going to have a child don't be think there should be five members only Saat kaise banenge? seven is only possible if the parents the grandparents the, the, the top generation they have siblings there is no other way both these statements both the both the conditions will make sense so what i'm trying to say is um, this is the couple they are going to have a kid let's say a son i don't care and then they are going to have a kid let's say a daughter kitne log honge panch hi na how will i make sure that there are seven people i can't i can't put a sibling here because the couple will now have two children right and same logic i cannot use a sister over here i cannot use a sister over here because then they will have no i can put a sister from sister in law wala part right main idhar put kar sakta hu but i can't put a sister here because the first couple will now have two children right a boy and a girl so the only place we can bring in two more people is either sibling to the husband so grandfather or grandmother or a sibling to the daughter in law or sis, uh, daughter in law or the second wife right second generation wali wife i meant aur to koi chara nahi these are the only three places we can bring in someone okay it says c is the brother of b <laughs> so the only place we can put c is the brother of b is c could be here c could be here c could be here and c is brother right male next it says a is the uncle of g if a is going to be uncle of g so g has to be someone right so it could be uncle from this part or the other one so not an easy one okay ye thoda aasan ho jayega e is the grandmother of f so this is f and e is the grandmother so this is going to be e or maybe mom uh, grandmother's sister is can also be e theek hai and grandfather sister is also going to be called as grandmother next it says d is the father in law of b so the father in law is only this possibility right theek hai so we have 1 2 3 4 char letters likh diye hain next we have uh, c is the brother of b so c is the brother of b so this is where one person has come in next it says a is the uncle of g so the only place we can have uncle is if this is g and an uncle sorry uncle a could be here or here kahi bhi ho sakta hai because in either case uh, a is going to be called as uncle right so let's verify there are two married couples de and gb and there are seven members right five in white and two in yellow one of the two a's each couple has only one child yes d and e they have a child g and g and b they have a child f next it says uh, c is the brother of b a is the uncle of g e is the grandmother of f d is the father in law of b and there is no widow or widower also do we know the gender of b and g no we don't know the gender of b and g right to mere ko ye bhi nahi pata okay please try to understand nowhere it is written that uh, g is a husband or b is a sister or a mother nothing of that sort is written the only where we can find out is the gender of c because it says the brother next a is male because this the, the relationship is uncle e is female because that says his grandmother d is male because that's his father in law but b or g ke bare mein kahi kuch mention nahi hai and what about f also we also don't know the gender of f because it's no way written and we have no idea how many female wagera hai pretty sure g and b mein one male or female is there one male and one female f we don't know so not an easy one so how is d related to g as in g is going to call d by which relationship so g is going to call d by father 
how is b related to d as in d is going to call b by which relationship d is going to call b as son in law or daughter in law hai na kyunki b ka gender to nahi pata so it's going to be son in law or daughter in law so either b or c delta option right and next is if d and f are of same gender so if d and f are of same gender so male both of them and ek male to g or b mein hai aur ek female hai ye to pakka hai kaun sa male hai nahi pata abhi then how is f related to c as in c is going to call f by which relationship so c bolega f ko ki wo mere sibling ka beta hai so that's called nephew right son of your sibling is called nephew okay next theek hai these were the three questions not an easy one right राइट right, अंशिपा वो मैंने देख लिया था एंड लफी से इज मे बी टू कपल आर इन द सेम जनरेशन इफ टू कपल्स आर इन द सेम जनरेशन लफी द प्रॉब्लम इज गोइंग टू बी हाउ कम यू हैव अ थर्ड जनरेशन क्योंकि इफ टू पीपल आर देयर दे नीड टू हैव पेरेंट्स सो दैट दे कैन बी बॉर्न राइट तो इफ आई टेक बोथ दी जनरेशन इन दर्स्ट बोथ दी मैरिड कपल्स इन दर्स्ट जनरेशन तो दिक्कत क्या होगी दे वॉन्ट बी अड किड ग्रैंड मदर ग्रैंड फादर वर रिलेशन वर्क एंड इफ आई हैव बोथ दी मैरिड कपल इन दैकेंड जनरेशन राइट सो दे आर द किड्स ऑफ समवन तो ऊपर वाला जनरेशन भी जरूरी है एंड आई नीड टू हैव अ कपल देयर ऑल्सो बिकॉज विदाउट मैरिज द किड्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी बॉर्न the standard rule of uh, blood relation based question right so we can't have uh, both the married couples in the uh, same generation it's it has to be one above the other ye yaad rakho if you are talking about three generations right uh, how do we know three generations because of the word grandmother here right away three generations ki baat kar rahe ho at least to do couple to chahiye hi chahiye in each generation on the top theek hai okay so I hope everyone must have uh, uh, given a thumbs up as like the video. So here are few uh, notifications, few information for you guys. So if anyone is uh, preparing for this year's CAT CAT 2023, we have brought you a comprehensive program where you will be provided a tablet uh, with more than 300 engaging videos and more than 200 hours of live classroom sessions with more than 75 marks. for m cat as well as non cat uh, exams uh, more than 10000 practice questions uh, more than 300 engaging videos which are recorded and there are going to be another 300 which are like live you are also given uh, uh, access to all these sections with uh, hard copy books so that you can practice offline and more than 5 years of previous year questions so you have all of that at one place right we also also help you with gdpi and vat sessions wherein you get at least 15 recorded as well as live lectures so please make sure that you enroll now uh, the link is given in the chat and it's also given in the description below of the video and on uh, and uh, today at 7 pm uh, uh, 90% scholarship test is going to be held so you can get up to a 90% scholarship okay more than 27000 students have won this scholarship and we have given away more than a crore rupees of scholarship so make sure that you register now and limited seats are there and in case even if you don't need this scholarship make sure that you write the exam ek tarah se this will be a practice for the other exams that you are going to attempt in the next couple of months right theek hai on 11th of february at 7 pm mr srinivas is going to take a session it's about how to manage cat preparation with jobs and or studies okay so a lot of you must be having queries regarding it ki should i quit the job should i continue with my studies what should i do right so he is going to help you devise your test taking strategy and how you should go ahead for your next 10 months of preparation until cat 2023 So make sure you register for this as well. This is first come first serve basis. And uh, M A H uh, C E T M B or M M S. The session has begun. It will happen every day from 11th February 
it is going to start it will happen every day at 11th february to 19th february uh, so it is a window wherein you can write the mock for this this is an already open mock okay you will be uh, able to figure out your strengths and weaknesses and you will also have an idea as to what the actual paper is going to look like and you will know your competition well so make sure that you register for this uh, all india open mock thank you everyone thank you for joining you can subscribe our youtube channel you can uh, follow us on our instagram page you can like our facebook page and you can join our telegram channel as well if you have got any queries or doubts we are happy to help you can also download our app free of cost and watch hundreds of videos all for free thank you thank you for joining i'll see you guys in the next session till then take care shubham it's it is supposed to happen in march this year so there is no delay thing that is going to happen okay chalo bye bye